So the purpose of the turbine uh, is essentially to to provide power to drive the compressors and the fan or the propeller, uh, if it was a propeller driven aircraft, and the accessories. So on our shaft here, coming off the shaft, we would have an accessory gearbox and we'd have a fuel pump, hydraulic pump, um, oil pump, generator. All of those would be connected in here to the accessory gearbox. So the, the compressors, the accessories, the fan or the prop, they're all driven by uh, the turbine, the turbine blades. So that's their purpose, okay, to, to, to drive all of those. Now, what makes up the turbine? Well, when we looked at the compressors, we saw that the compressors had rotor blades and stator blades. And similarly in the turbine, we have rotor blades and nozzle guide vanes. So the nozzle guide vane, it, its purpose is to direct air onto the turbine so that it hits the, air, the turbine at the correct angle of attack. And it works something like the um, stator vanes, it, it, except their, their roles are reversed. So for a stator blade, its purpose is to increase pressure and decrease velocity, where the purpose of a nozzle guide vane is to decrease pressure and increase velocity. Okay, so it does the exact opposite of, of the, the stator blades. Right, so there are different types of turbines. There is the axial flow turbine, and uh, with the axial flow, we have the rotor blades and we have the nozzles, the nozzle guide vanes. And this will account for 99.999% of turbines that you will see on board an aircraft. The other type of turbine is the, the radial flow, uh, a bit like a centrifugal compressor, if you like. Uh, but these are, are very rare and we're, we're not going to sp speak about them. Okay, so we've covered um, the purpose of the turbine. We've looked at the components. There's a nozzle guide vane and then there's the tur rotor blades. And uh, in the next video, we look at the different types of blades.